Arthur's Reading Race by Mark Brown. Arthur learned to read in school. Now, class, who can read this word? Arthur. I can. It's jump. Very good, Arthur. You are learning to read. Max, can you read this word? Ride. Good riding and good reading, Max. I'd like to read a word too. Good, Jenny. Can you read this one? Up. <laughs> Down. Everyone did a great job today. We'll practice more reading tomorrow. Now Arthur reads everywhere. He reads in the car. Hey, Mom! This book is about birds. Did you know that birds are descendants of dinosaurs? Yes, dear. I did hear something about that. <laughs> Wow. He reads in bed. <coughs> he reads to his puppy, Pal. Wait a minute. You've got to hear about this. Here's the part about dogs that can do tricks. They can balance on a ball. They can stand on one paw. Pal, maybe someday you can do that. Arthur even reads to his little sister, D.W. This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. That's me! Grandma, what big ears you have! The better to hear you with, my dear. Grandma, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Arroo! <laughs> D.W., sit down and let me finish. D.W., look at this picture of the wolf. <laughs> You do that. <laughs> Books are magic. Three, five, four, four. One day, Arthur said. I can teach you to read, too. I already know how to read, said D.W. You do not, said Arthur. Do, too, said D.W. D.W., if you know how to read, how come your book was upside down? I can read in all directions. Look, Arthur, this bear is happy. Now he's sad. Happy, sad, happy, sad, happy. Oh, brother. Whoa! You do not do too. Hmm. Prove it. Read ten words, D.W., and I'll buy you an ice cream. It's a deal. Let's go. They raced to the park. Arthur pointed to a sign. What's that say? He asked. Zoo, said D.W. 
easy as pie. They have animals from all over the world. Lions and tigers and bears. I know. It is a zoo, Arthur. Look, Arthur. I'm an elephant. Whoa! <laughs> D.W., you look like a tree. Ha ha. Very funny. Why don't you make like a tree and leave? Well, you've only read one word. Nine more to go. This is easy. I'll probably read more than ten. No, Augie. It's time to go home. I spy three words, said Arthur. Me too, said D.W. Taxi, gas, milk. Now I've read four words. If I read twenty words, you should buy me two ice cream cones. Four words is a long way from twenty, D.W. <laughs> Yes. Milk. Milk. Chocolate milk. Mm. Pizza. Let's go. I want that ice cream. Arthur stepped off the curb. Look out! Said D.W. It says, don't walk. You could get hit by a car. Phew, that was close. Thanks, D.W. And you read two more words. That makes six. What would you do without me? <coughs> Tell Arthur to watch signs. Not silly birds. Oh, man. Charge! <laughs> okay, Arthur, walk. Remember, D.W., you need four more words to get an ice cream. <laughs> All right, Miss Smarty Pants. What's that say? Asked Arthur. Police, said D.W., and you better keep off the grass or the police will get you. Duck, duck, goose! Ow! You naughty little goose! Wasn't that fun? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> okay, Arthur. I read seven words. Only three left. Let's go. No ice cream if you don't read all ten words. <laughs> said D.W. I have a bank. I hide my money in it so you can find it.
bank makes eight words. Maybe you should buy me the ice cream, Miss Moneybags. Uh uh, we made a deal. I'm going to read ten words, and you owe me an ice cream. Get ready to buy my ice cream. I only need two more words. We're almost home, said Arthur. Too bad. You only read eight words. No ice cream for you today. Hold your horses, said D W. I spy ice cream. Hot dog. I read ten words. Let's eat. Pal, what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into? Guess I can't get you that ice cream because Pal's all tangled up. Give me that leash. Let go, W. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I read ten words. Do I get ten scoops? Very funny, D W. Arthur, guess what time it is? I'm not wearing a watch. It's time for ice cream, silly. <coughs> D.W. and Arthur ran to the ice cream store. Arthur bought two big cones, strawberry for D.W. and chocolate for himself. Yummy! Said D W. Chocolate's the best. Arf, arf. Strawberry's better, and it's prettier. <coughs> Doesn't even show. I love pink. Arf, arf. Pal loves chocolate, too. Flavors Bumpy road, moose ripple, vodka or shoelace. One, two, three big scoops. Would you like a taste? Ow! Would you like a taste? You kids, get along now. It's a beautiful day outside. Arthur sat down. Sit down with me, said Arthur, and I'll read you my book. No, said D W. I'll read you the book. Arthur shook his head. I don't think so, he said. There are too many words that you don't know. <laughs> I didn't know reading could be so delicious. <coughs> when you read ten words, you can have your own ice cream. <coughs> D.W. laughed. 
Get up, Arthur. Now I can teach you two words you don't know, said D.W. Wet paint. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs>